Hello and welcome to my knife channel. Well, this isn't exactly a knife, although it is a cutting tool. And it goes along with the wire stripping stuff. Um, this is an ideal brand wire stripping tool. And it's made in West Germany, which no longer exists. So you know how old that is. And it will fit 10 to 20 to, uh, 10 to 20 gauge wire. Alright, I think that's the model number, 45227. What's cool about this thing is you have some jaws right here. And you have some measurement marks. And you just basically put your wire in there, close the jaws, pull it back, and it's done. Now, you think, well, you know, strip wire, but I want to be able to cut a wire. See that predator action? You close it all the way, and it gives that little uh, predator action that exposes these jaws. And you can't completely release it, because it'll slide back. But you open it up wide enough to stick it in there, and... Cut your wire cleanly. No muss, no fuss, no worries. As long as it'll fit in those um, things right there. They make a, a, a smaller size one. This one was about the best all around. You know, 10 gauges. The smaller the number on the gauge, the bigger the wire. So 10 to 20 gauge. I'd say this guy's probably about 20 gauge. Maybe... But yeah, you just, you can use those little marks there, align it where you want. Let's see if you only want to cut that much off, you only cut that much off. If you want to cut all the way over to here, you can cut all the way over here. Now see, it'll leave that little piece right there if you try to do it double staged like that, but still. Pretty cool tool. Once you use that, man, you never go back to, man, it's fast, lightweight. And you got that predator direction. Yeah, so it just grabs down that little V notch. Let's see if we can see it up for it. It grabs down. It's not in focus. There we go. It grabs down like that. And it automatically sizes it based upon the tension. It won't let it go too far and cut down to the smallest one. Because after a certain amount of tension, it just starts pulling back. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know if they continue to make these right now, but if you're ever into doing electrical work, and this thing is so ergonomic, man. I mean, you're, you're, that little finger thing right there is enough right there. It's just one heck of a tool. No muss, no fuss, just a little spring coil spring inside there simple simple design you could probably 3d print something like this your hardest part would be to uh, doing the jaw inserts but it looks like they just wedged something in there yep just a bent piece of metal on that one and this one yep <sighs> pretty cool huh and um uh... I got me a, uh, I've never bought one of these before, a butane type of camp stove. I've never had one. I've alcohol and pressurized alcohol and Coleman fuel. But I've never had one of those, so these are pretty simple. Little wings just fold right out. They're uh, jimped, you got jimping on them so that uh, your pop won't slide off as much. And you just basically got an on-off valve here. Minus means turn off, plus means go faster. This had a little danger warning thing label that I took off. I'm probably going to attach a ferro rod onto this. But yeah, it just screws on to one of these containers. They make a bigger size than this. Auto Salante 250. But yeah, it just uh, screws in on the top right there. and That becomes your base. It's threaded. And you can take it on and off. There's a little valve in there. So, there you go. Thought I'd show that for you. Something you may or may not have seen before. The ideal tool. It's the ideal tool for wire stripping. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.